everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Prison Architect. So, off, you know, my free time after this episode, I'm still in the same day recording, mind you. I came to a conclusion, I'm going to delay the um, of arrival of our prisoners because I don't think I'm ready. I think I botched the, the start a little bit too much in order to, to take prisoners right now. So, in order to, like, you know, avoid running into any big issue, I'd rather fix what I kind of fucked up on first and foremost here. So, we need to start here doing a few things. Number one. I think where I went wrong was actually setting up these walls myself. I mean, I think that was a really, really bad move on my part. So what I'm going to be doing here, actually, is going into walls really quickly. <clears throat> gonna, I guess we can just cancel out of this straight up, right? Yeah, we can. All right, so I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to let the foundation set up the walls for me. I think that was where probably it went wrong, where I got a little bit too ahead of myself, and I was going to like, no, you know what, I'll make my own... Um, walls if they're not doing it and it doesn't work that way so we'll do that right there right so that'll be the foundation straight up get the game going on over here we're gonna actually we're gonna require an entrance as well so what the other thing we have to do is also dismantle the other walls that i built remember i built a few of them demolish these walls and demolish these walls and the other thing I'm going to do is, meanwhile, since we're going to have no prisoners coming in, we might as well also set up a little bit of a staff door, maybe roughly right about there, so they have a way to get in and out and finish their projects here. So that needs to be done for that part. Now, utilities. Utilities have to run down a little bit more as well, so we'll do something like large pipe down to here. Alrighty, got that done. Now, small pipe. Small pipes will be running into the toilets, obviously, so bam, bam. Bam and bam. And finally, down this side, down this side, down this side, and down this side. Alrighty, and the foundation is just about gonna be done soon, I would imagine, right? We just have to dismantle these um, walls that I built initially, and then the foundation will be placed into go here. So let's forward time a little bit. I think suspending the arrival of those, um, that's what they call them, civilians. They're not really civilians now, are they? But the arrival of those scumbags is probably the best thing I've done because I did botch it a little bit starting this off. And again, as I said, I'm I'm really new to this game, so you'll forgive me if I make a lot of errors initially. Now, my foundation still isn't complete now, is it? Because these walls are here kind of set up and... Oh, you know what it was? My bad. Here's the other thing. Again, setting up your own walls is probably not the best when you're starting off when, you know, you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. There you go. So we'll dismantle those walls. The reason why they're not fin finishing the foundation is that these walls are, that I initially built were in the way. So now they can come in and set up their own foundation and finish up the uh, project over here. So, uh, note to self, don't build walls where you want a foundation to be set up, otherwise it just causes like a whole loopy thing to go on over here. I don't think the door's going to be much of an issue, is it? I mean, that's for you guys to get in and out, otherwise how are you going to finish the project if there's no exit, right? So here we go. There you go. So he's finishing that off, finishing that off. Alrighty. Now, there you go, foundation done, and it actually broke down the walls that I initially built, but that's okay. If it means just uh, I'm getting this problem out of the way, then I will uh, definitely live with it. Now, uh, utilities, we have, this needs to be connected first and foremost, and then we'll just probably run you down to here as well, just to cover up most of the areas around. And we still need a few more toilets, right? We're still just waiting for them to bring those in. Now that we've set that up, I could do a jail cell, which is where? Here you go. Jail cell. So, let's go back to it. We skip one, and then jail cell here. Skip one, and then jail cell here. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more better now that I've gotten uh, under control. It was, believe me, a pain in the ass to figure it out, but I, I did figure it out. That's what really matters. Then, the other thing we need to do is put up the jail cell door right about there. Alrighty. Perfect. So, we have, uh... There you go. Power everywhere. Now, this dude isn't connected over here. What? What is your problem? Utilities. That one doesn't want to connect, does it? I have run into that issue a few times. Can somebody build that? I'm not sure what actually placates it being built or not. Like, sometimes it'll build, sometimes it won't. Sometimes I have to demolish something and then rebuild it in order to actually get power through there. I am not sure what exactly, um derives whether that's going to get power or not. It's kind of a little bit annoying. I mean, if you guys know why, let me know, but for the most part right now, I am stumped. And the way I figured out how to do it is by canceling the project that was there and I'll just do like a large pipe. And that will do it. The thing is that I don't want large pipes in there, but if that's the only way we could kind of get that connected, then, you know, whatever. Live by the sword, die by the sword, right? So you guys go over there and please build that for me if you can. 
just so that we have that toilet connected. I don't want that, you know, toilet to be overflowing with shit. So that would be too sanitary and the prisoners might not like it too much. So there you go. So he's going to build that. They wouldn't build a small one, but the big one, sure, why not? Now, would it be a big problem that we have a big pipe here? Because even if he was to get in there, he's not going to be able to smuggle through the small one. Not unless he's like Stretch Armstrong or Mr. Fantastic or something. So I, I think we'd be okay. So now that we've done that, let's set up the proper walls now that we can build. And... Well, actually, let's set up the shower room first. Then we'll do the walls over here, because then we, we delayed the prisoner intake after all, so... Um, I am in no rush. I think that was what's probably what happened the first time, too. Like, I felt kind of rushed, and... Probably not a good thing to be rushed when you're trying to, number one, keep some sort of form of, um... At least, hopefully, slightly entertaining commentary going on, and at the same time, trying to build a, a prison. Especially when it's not your first, uh... When it's essentially your first rodeo to the series, so, you know... We'll do that. Now, what I'm doing over here is going to be a little bit of a shower room. I'm not sure how this is going to work later on once I expand jail cells, but for now, <laughs> it's going to have to work. At least once we start getting some more money, we'll figure it out. But for now, this will work. So you guys keep doing that. Right. It's going to require an entrance, which means we will go over here and demolish walls from... Let's see. Bam and bam. Would that do it? That'll do it. All right. So now they have the entrance and they will finish up this foundation. And we want our pipes to extend down to here as well, because what we're doing here is setting up some shower heads. So let me pause this again, we'll go into our shower head area over here, and we have shower head, boom. Sprinkler, what is this for? Automatically sprays the area with water in the event of a fire. Oh! That could be really <laughs> useful, especially with these scumbags we'll be housing really soon. Alrighty, so how do we want to do this? Um, one, two, three, four. It won't be even. But up in sides, one, two, three. Three, it won't be even here either. Alrighty, so we're gonna do an uneven type of thing, which bothers me, but it's gonna have to be. So we'll do that, and that. Flip it around, do this, and this, and then we'll just have like... I don't know, maybe the, the, the couple one. You know, two guys that are just two best friends, you know, it's not necessarily a homosexual relationship. They're just really close, and they're okay with their sexuality. Not that it would be a bad thing if they happen to be a homosexual couple, I mean. It happens in prison. Believe me, I have watched Oz on HBO. <laughs> I know all about it, so, you know, it's fine, you know. Whatever you're gonna do, you wanna do it, just do it, it's fine. So, large pipe. Run this down through here. We'll also probably extend some of the electrical cables down here as well, maybe, just to get some power in there. I don't think we do need it, but, nah, it was already lit up. You know what? Cancel. Don't need it. So, the pipes will be set up through there, and we'll wanna do small pipe connecting to these bad boys, and that one, and that one. Run this one over here, and then we have the couple suite right about there. We have that, that, and that. And I think that should cover just about everything, right? It should. As soon as they build it, that is, anyway. You know what? Let's cancel that one out and just put a big old pipe there. Just to kind of go with the flow of things. Alright. So, shower heads are up and running, and we just gotta put the, um pipes down and we'll be good to go. And the other thing we want to do here as well is actually put some drains, otherwise they will um, over flood the cells and you know, that's not a bad, good thing. Now, does this go, where does this go? Would this go underneath it straight up? I'm going to assume it is, so I'm going to put this down around like this. Alright. And we'll see how that works out for us. We'll forward time a little bit here. Alright. Yeah. Put down those pipes. Good. Good stuff. Connect it all down, and then next people will start bringing the drains over here. Right, right. Now, I'm not sure if the drain should go underneath it exactly, or like one st uh, one spot forward. I'm going to put it underneath it and hope that's the case, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Maybe I should put in more drains, perhaps? I don't mean that's such a bad thing, right? I mean, we still have the money for it, so... How about some drains by the exit, just so that, you know, it doesn't happen over here. Or something doesn't have to go wrong over here. Yeah, you know what? Just align the whole thing with drains. I'll feel more uh, comfortable that way, otherwise, you know, yeah, they're prisoners, what, what are they going to care about? Sanitation, right? So we're good right there, alright, fine. So we got that under control, that's going to be our shower, which, um, is not still entitled to shower? Why hasn't that been, um, scratched out? Oh, you know why? Because I haven't dignified it as a shower just yet, now have I? So, shower area, boom, I'm good to go. Don't tell me that it's not complete, it totally is complete, right? Excellent, now. We just need two guards and two chefs, and we'll be done with the det detention center, finally. So, before we do that, though, let's set up the proper um, walls for these jail cells over here. We'll do concrete. I believe we're doing it this way, right? 
so it's the L going that way. And then this will get that. You go through here, you go through there, and bam, bam. Alrighty, excellent. So that'll finish up these jail cells and we're good to go. Remember, we're going to expect probably more than likely eight uh, prisoners up front, so that's going to be good. Now, in terms of expansion for a jail cell as well, that's going to be more of a pickle. Not sure how we're going to pull that one off just yet. But, for now, <laughs> I'm going to live with this one. Now, this over here worries me a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Like, why this hasn't been, um... I probably haven't run a foundation through that, have I? That's probably the case right here. Hmm. Would I need a foundation there? Probably not. You know what I'm going to do over here? It's just a walkway anyway. How about we just set up some sort of flooring over here. We'll do the concrete tires, indoor only. We need something for the outside. So how about we do road and gravel, <laughs> grass. We'll do some paving stones over here. How about that? Can't place them down through here, so we'll do them that way. Perfect. Alrighty. So we got that. We have the jail cells. We have the shower room. The dungeon center is just about done. All we need is two guards and two shops, so... We could hire those right now, but again, we're not expecting the prisoners just yet, so we'll hold off. Administration center, we need two offices, a warden, unlock finance to bureaucracy, and hire an accountant. Alrighty, so we can start probably working on that. This over here, I'm not too happy about too, so we should probably set up some ba -ba 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 paving stones down through here as well. Alrighty, good. Now, my offices. Let's put this in real time so they're building that stuff that we need over here. Now, in terms of my offices, they have to be what? Let's see, go into rooms and we'll do office, 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 where are you right there? It has to be 4x4 four four at the very least, so my warden has to probably have a big office, right? And then the staff room could probably be somewhere over here, something kind of big for them, so we'll do like 4x4 uh, four four at the very least for the warden. Eh, let's make it make it like a 5x5. Five five. And then we also need an accountant. He could probably do a, well, he could probably do a 5x5 five five as well. Have the big offices. Now you know what. What have you done for me, right? We'll do 4x4. Four four. There you go. Another office there, and then this will be unfortunately covering up this entrance. I'm not too happy about that one, so we'll hold off on that one. Over here we'll do 4x4, four four, a wall right there, 4x4, four four, a wall right there, and then we're going to be fucking ourselves with this one. But then again, I wanted to make this the staff room, right? Huh. Maybe. Maybe I'll regret my decision about this one right now. This office over here is probably the one that's kind of busting my balls in reality. Well, what else do we need to hire other than the warden? Let's see, check out our staff here. Arm guards, guard nerds. I don't think they need their own office though, right? Maybe the foreman would? Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go into... Offense once more, and we'll do another one over here. What do I want for this one? I mean, we could do another 5x5 five five one over here. I guess we could do that. We just do 5x5s. Five five um, let's see here. 5x... Five by... How do I remove you? <laughs> I don't want you anymore. How do we do... Oh, we just go over it? Oh, just make it one giant office. That, that would be nice now, wouldn't it? Well, this could be our staff room after all, so maybe it's not the worst case scenario. And then over here, I could do another small little office. Gotta be five, four by four, right? Yeah, sure. That's fine. This will be my staff room over here. So we have um, Warden over here, and then probably the Accountant over here. Probably want a big room so you could kind of uh, make the mats and hopefully bring in some good dough to our cash flow issues here. So that'll be office and office. What does this require? An office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. All right. So let's go into... We could do some brick walls for you guys. Why not? Keep it a little bit fancy. I don't have to necessarily close off the offices, by the way. That's just my decision right now to do. I can leave them open. But I will close them off and, you know, give them a little bit of privacy, I should say. So that's fine right there. We'll do that. Oh, you know what the problem is here? I won't be able to close this one off. Well, fuck me. Never mind. You're going to buy a smaller office after all. Or is that still right? Four? Yeah, that's fine. He doesn't require that big of an office. He's an accountant after all. I like how I just kind of pussyfoot around this and just kind of um, <laughs> use it for my own best being. Alright, and you'll get a staff door, maybe? You'll get a staff door. Do we, do we just need a regular door? I would imagine probably just a regular door, right? 
just that whoever wants to come and visit them. Although, because eh, I don't want to leave, like, I want to make sure that a locked door that can be opened by any member of the staff, not just guards. Yeah, you know what? Because, you know, say one of these prisoners get off, like, escape, what keeps them from coming into the office of the warden as and, like, kill them? I mean, it could possibly happen, right? I mean, these, uh, <laughs> these criminals are hardened after all. They might want to come and get vengeance on our poor, um, warden over here. And we can't have that happening. So we have that going on. We also need what? Office desk, chair, and a filing cabinet. Alrighty. So, office desk. Let's, uh, let's have you up against the wall, I would say, right? You could kind of be like a smarmy asshole about the whole thing and be like, Hey, what do you want? Vacation time? No, you got no vacation time. We're running a business here. Um, so you could just kind of take the corner office, I would say, right? Or not the corner. Well, it is corner office, it is. But take the corner part of the room. And your chair will be, let's see, facing the computer. Yeah, sure, there you go. Have you do that, and then we'll have you a little bit of filing cabinet over here so you could kind of pretend like you're working. You'll have to, because you're the warden, so you have a lot of paperwork to go through. Whatever, whatever. So there you go with that one. And you, the accountant, will have filing cabinet here and here, and then we'll set up a desk for you over here. You're going to be the disgruntled accountant. It's like, you know, I really hate the warden. He's got the bigger office. Why? I do just enough work. But unfortunately, he is the warden and you're not. So, um, build two offices, that'll be done. We need to unlock finance through bureaucracy, but we need the warden for that, and then we need to hire an accountant. Okay. So, let's go into, no, not that. Let's go into staff, and we might as well just hire a warden now, right? Get in there. Nah, rabble, 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 rabble. I don't like my office. Rah. Alrighty, so we have him. Build two offices, that will be done really soon. And bureaucracy, we need the accountant. Accountant. It's gonna be him. Requires the warden. Boom, it's gonna be six hours till we get the accountant, but that'll be done soon enough. Alrighty. Now we need two guards and two chefs, and we'll get the 10,000 from the detention center. And you know what? I want to say that more than likely, we should probably consider, um, you know, taking in our, our prisoners now. I think we're, we're good, right? For the most part, we look good. Yeah, alrighty. So, let's go into reports and prisoners. Let's do normal risk and not high risk just yet. We'll do low risk and normal risk. How about that? Alrighty. And they will be coming in 12 hours. That's fine. That gives me enough time, but it's not 24 hours, so it doesn't take too long. Okay. Now, let's look around and make sure everything's fine. Office, oh well, yeah, you require stuff, right? Um, you know, I'll build it as a need-by-go basis. I don't need you right now, so I won't build you right now. But I would like the staff room. And we could also get our guards going on. We might as well get our guards going on right now. And you're going to be fine over here, right? I could enclose you. Really easily, honestly. But... Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's enclose you off really quickly. Or do I really need to? I mean, this is like a danger, like, uh, with the... <laughs> the state come and be like, Well, I'm not sure we could have some capacitors out here wide open. I mean, what if somebody... Some of these crooks come and start tingling around with it? And I'll be like, well, you know what? It's a prison. If they start tingling around, we just throw them in prison. And there you go. Everything's fine, right? So holding cells good here. We have some jail cells here. We might as well start building a few more jail cells, I would imagine, right? Because everything else seems pretty good. Does the yard need anything in particular? Not really. Let's check out our grants really quickly. Um, well, we need to finish off a few of these before we get some more open, huh? So let's uh, get the chefs and the guards going. Keep pressing that when that's the wrong one. It's staff out. So, let's go cook. Uh, one and two. Bam. Go to guards. And one and two. Bam. So, that's been completed. Alrighty, Falcon completed one finally. It only took him forever, and he had to, you know, fall on his face a million times, but he got done. That's what matters. Finance is coming along pretty good. We'll have it really soon. And we'll get that one out of the way. Now, is there any other grant that we could unlock now? Yep. Health and well-being. What is this one? I don't want to... No, 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 no. I didn't want to... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't want to open this one up yet. You can accept no more than two grants at a time. Use your account to raise this limit. Well, I'm trying to build them up. I don't want this one, though. Can I... Subscribe out of your, um... Well-being here. <laughs> Let me sus unsubscribe from this, please. Okay, whatever. What does this require? The physical and mental health of our inmates is very important to us. This grant is to facilitate the construction of a state-of-the-art medical ward and to hire doctors and psychologists to look after the admits health needs. Build a medical ward, hire at least two doctors, and hire a psychologist. Requires an office. Okay. 
So we have an office already for that person, but we need a... Another foundation, then. We can do that. Now, where do I want that? This is the real question, and I'm not sure just yet. Not entirely sure just yet. This is my staff room, so we can't touch this, that's for sure. Holding cell. We could probably have the, the psych ward over here, maybe, right? Yeah. Why not? So, uh, build a medical ward. Let's assume this is it right here, right? Where would I signify that as? Medical ward, infirmary. Locked, you require help. Okay. Well, garbage delivery, storage, yard, shower, solitary canteen, office, and common room. Allows your prisoners some free time to relax. Room requirements indoors. Okay. Um, visitation. Not doing that just yet. Garbage, deliveries. Let me pause this here for a second. What do you mean I... I indoors in the medical bed. Locked. You require health. It's like an un unlockable thing. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it requires a warden. So we'll get that going as well, and I guess we need the psychology as one as well. Alright, so we need to unlock that before we can get that one up and running. And once I do, I will dignify this area as probably the psych ward. How much does that need to actually be required? Uh, it doesn't tell me like how big it has to be. I guess it doesn't have to have like a maximum or a minimum size, probably. Let's hope that's the case. Alrighty, so we got that going, unfortunately. Once unlock finance is done, let's forward time so it does actually finish faster. We could hire the accountant and get that one done. We have prisoners coming in in about eight hours, so we'll have time to get most of this done. I, w I really unlocked that at an inopportune time, unfortunately. Now, these logs over here, are they for anything? Search cell block? No. Um, I guess we just sell them? Do you sell them? Get some extra money? Sure, why not? I'm not sure what you would need these for. If I'm making a big error right now, I apologize. <laughs> I'm just not sure what they're for and nobody's collecting them, so... It leads me to believe that they're... Unless, maybe, if we create a storage area? We could do that. Mind you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. How about this? We'll do... Foundation. Concrete. Let's see. We'll do that. This will be a little bit of a quasi-storage room, so to say. And we'll see if that, you know, does anything in terms of collecting the logs, maybe? Not positive it'll happen, but, you know, if it does, then hey, good for us. So, you guys build that. You gotta, you know, break down this tree as well. Fuck trees forever, apparently. It's the name of the game here. Alright. Weird looking storage room, but that's alright. Not gonna let that bring us down. We'll go into rooms, and we'll... Set this up as a storage. Area decks needed to hold any materials your prison staff needs, so... There you go. Storage. Now they're rushing off and they're grabbing wood now. Okay, so probably a good thing I didn't sell all that wood after all. <laughs> Alrighty, there you go, yeah. Yeah, do it. Perfect. How is my um, kitchen coming along over here? Pretty good? Dude, how come it's getting so filthy? We need to like hire some maintenance over here. They're like the filthiest... Um, Look, warden office will do. Why are you so dirty? It's your office. Keep it clean. What do you expect? The janitor? You want me to hire a janitor for you? Must be nice. The nerve of this guy. Oh, I don't clean anything. I'm a warden. Alrighty, so we did unlock the accountant. Let's go ahead and grab the accountant. Boom. And your office is right there. Exceeds the daily budget. That's no good at all. It exceeds the daily budget because we um, haven't accepted prisoners yet. So we're going to have to hold off on that for a second. That's a really unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a problem now, isn't it? Well, I guess we just got to accept for the uh, the cash flow is $2. Ah, oh, sweet. We're rolling in it now. Even I have more than $2, and that's, you know, a lot to say in itself. All right, so I guess what we could do meanwhile, then, is actually start thinking about expanding the jail cells a bit and also um, doing the... What is it? The free time area? The... Not solitary right now. What was it? I saw it somewhere around here. Where was it? The kitchen, office, visitation, and the common room. Yeah, so allow your prisoners to have some free time to relax. So that'll keep them kind of healthy, health, happy and healthy and make them not want to riot, I suppose. And we could do a common room like somewhere in the yard. Like, we could close something off over here and be like, yard, and hey, every now and then when you're in the yard, you could go into the common room and have your thing over here. So we'll do that, more than likely. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Um... I know it's been kind of a botched start, but I'm trying to at least recuperate. Hopefully you guys understand. Not the first time I've, uh, kind of like the first time I've played this legitly, so... 
I'm learning as you guys are. At least a few of you that are. And again, keep leaving comments and um, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, I will catch you guys next time.